Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, and if you are back, might as well subscribe. So, this is the look that I did for you guys today. It's a purple cut crease with glitter liner. So if you want to do how I did this look, keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is my brows, and I'm going to brush them downwards a little bit just to see what spots I'm missing so I can fill them in with black shadow. Yes, I do not own a brow crack, so I just use this black right here from this Maybelline palette. And I'm just gonna fill my brows in. I don't normally do this, like fill in my brows, I just brush them up with soap and I'll be good to go. But today I'm gonna be wearing a lot of makeup and I don't want my brows to be neglected. Now using soap and water, I'm gonna set them in place. Now I'm gonna take this concealer right here, which is the Revolution Conceal and Define, and I'm gonna carve out my brows. And then I'm gonna bring the concealer a little bit down so we can use it as a base for our eyeshadow as well. Now with a wet sponge, I'm just gonna blend that in. Now I'm gonna set that with powder just to make sure that it doesn't move. Now I'm gonna get into the NYX Brights palette and with a pencil brush like this, I'm gonna get into this color right here, which does not have a name. Tap off the excess. So, let me explain to you what I'm gonna do first and then try to do it. I wanna put the darker color um, in the middle and this color that I'm gonna use right now here and here. Three days later. This is ugly as fuck. This one take this off. And then I'm gonna take a white eye pencil and try to like sketch out where I want my cut crease to be. Okay, so I drew the line. I hope you can see it. I can see it. I'm gonna take this color. And then on another pencil brush, take the darker color. So don't worry about like the lower part because I'm gonna carve that out with concealer, but I'm gonna have to blend the upper part. I'm taking more of that darker color and I'm just placing it there because I want more, you know, intensity on that color. And then I'm gonna take this brush, which I put like the lighter color there. I'm gonna try and blend this darker one upwards circular motions and just take my time I'm gonna take this color right here and try to blend the middle shade a little bit better okay I'm gonna take a little bit of that light purple and I'm gonna intensify these colors I'll put it there and then blend it. Don't forget that if you have hooded eyes like me, anywhere that you think you have to do the cut crease, do it higher. Because if I were to like put my cut crease here, which like I have a line, when I would close my eyes, you would have not seen the cut crease. But right now you can see the cut crease with my eyes open, with my eyes closed. With my eyes down. Anyhow, you can see the cut crease, and that's what we want. I'm gonna take my concealer and try to cut the fuck out of this crease. And then I'm gonna blend it with my sponge. I like this. I have never liked any cut crease that I have ever done, so this is kind of epic. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the here. I'm gonna 
to I want to keep it kind of simple. So I'm going to take a brush like this and try to put like some powder here in these areas. So now we're going to get into the eyeliner. <laughs> I'm going to take my eyeliner which is a pencil liner. I'm not still, I'm still not that, you know, professional. This is the ugliest wing I have. Fuck. I'm just gonna take a little bit of black on this liner brush and put it on my liner to set the liner and kind of intensify. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of my foundation and try to fix that liner because... This is kind of good. Okay, for the next step, I have this beautiful glitter. It's purple. It's just amazing. I'm going to put that on my liner. So I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand like this with a detail brush. I'm going to try to put that on my liner. Okay, just be careful that with glitters like this, you do not want to drag. You want to do this. Because if you drag, you're going to move all the glitter. Ooh, can you see? To be honest, I am happy. Beautiful, sexy, ready to snap the world. And beautiful, sexy, ready to snap the world, bitch. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna keep my eyes like this so it get dry and just, you know. While this is drying, I'm gonna go off camera and do this eye and I'll be back. Three days later. Okay, so both of the eyes are ready. Now I'm gonna get into my face. Now I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and try to remove anything that has fallen into my face. I have already moisturized and prepped my face, so I'm gonna get into foundation. And as usual, I'm using my Ebroche foundation, which looks like this, and then blend it in with my sponge. Now for concealer, I'm gonna use Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution. I'm gonna apply it here, but I have a breakout here. I popped my blackheads. Um, yesterday and my nose is looking good bye bitch I forgot my forehead I have lines on my forehead so I have to make sure that I wipe it with something like this just to like get all of any kind of product that's there and I'm gonna try to avoid the spots that like the line spots and I'm just gonna apply it here and while blending I'm gonna bring it in so that there's not too much product there and then Ooh, yes I love baking and my nose as well but I'm not gonna bake my nose because I want it to be like cakey I'm just gonna powder it a little bit Ooh. <laughs> For bronzer today, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. powder like I always use, this shade right here, and I'm just gonna bronze me up. My forehead, my triple chin. Now before getting into contour, because I want my contour to be perfect, I'm gonna take a little bit of powder with a sponge like this and just try to clean my bronzer. I'm gonna take a brush like this and the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. You wanna put the most product here in this area and just try to blend the rest. Now for contouring my nose, I'm gonna take this powder that I contoured my face with, with a brush like this. And I'm just gonna snatch my nose. I'm creating a line, but I'm not bringing it like so much down. One of my goals this year is to get really good at nose contouring because I don't have a pretty nose, as we all know. Okay? Mm, I think this is good. I 
think. I was really thirsty, so my mom brought me this. I don't know what you guys call it, but we call it sharbat. It's a liquid that we pour into water, and then it becomes like the juice of that fruit. For example, cherry sharbat will be, if you pour it into water and you mix it, it will be cherry juice. Now for blush, I want to get into this Catrice number 030. I'm taking a brush like this, which is angled. I hope the lighting is good. I want to bring it a little bit up here as well. I'm feeling a little coachella -y, which I've never been. But I feel the wipes. Okay, now I'm going to get into my under eyes. I'm going to get into this palette and take this pink. And get into the lighter purple that we used in our cut crease and I'm just trying to put it over top of that pink so I'm gonna get into my highlighter palette and I'm gonna use this color but before that I'm gonna wet my brush I'm gonna wet Now that I'm done with the eyes, I'm gonna take away the big powder. Now we're gonna do highlighter, then lipstick, and then we're done. I'm taking my highlighter on a real tip piece 402, and I'm just applying it anywhere that I want. But you have to be careful because you do not want to apply highlighter on a breakout like this. Now I'm just gonna take a sponge and blend everything a little bit so we don't have any lines or anything between my blush, contour, and highlight. Tarte lip paint. Plum, really dark color. Okay. I'm gonna go change and I'll be back. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I hope you like it. I'm really proud of myself for doing this. I know that it's not the most perfect cut crease, but it's the best one that I have done yet and I'm really proud of myself. If you feel like you're not good at something or you want to be good at something, just trust me, you have to practice. And you you are going to mess up so many times, but it's going to be good like at the end of the day because if you don't give up and if you just keep going, you're going to get there. Thank you guys so much for watching and made it. Thank you guys so much for watching and getting getting this far in the video. I cannot talk. Thank you guys so much for watching and making it through this far in the video. I'm really thankful for you and please subscribe to my channel and like the video if you liked it. I post on Sundays and Wednesdays and um, that's it. Don't forget to love yourself because you are the shit. I am proud of you. I believe in you and I see you in the next.